Today we're going to take a brief look at the Explory X, the latest iteration of Stolka's long-standing and definitely quirky looking design. The Explory is one of the models we've had the most experience with mechanically, and we've watched the evolution of its design on a component level as it's shifted from the early days of the V2, with fiddly seat connection mechanisms and wave-themed rear wheels, all the way through to the V6, with removable front wheels and leatherette detailing. Stolka are tinkerers, you see. Once they found an overall design they like, they just keep plugging away at the small stuff, tweaking little improvements out of all the bits and pieces. And the truth with the Explory is that most of the really important mechanical stuff was already done before the launch of this newest iteration. And in fact, they're even backtracking a bit with this one. Before we get into all that though, looking at the changes accompanying this new version, I feel it's necessary to begin by explaining what the Explory is in general. And above all else, in my opinion, it's important to understand that the Explory is a style purchase, not a performance purchase. It does have a nice high seating position and luxurious textiles, but beyond this, there's not really anything particularly special about the model from a practical standpoint. That doesn't make it poorly designed or weak, mind you, because it's definitely neither of these things. But it's just simply a fact. It's essentially a lazy boy high chair for babies on wheels, both large and at 13.4 kilos, quite heavy for a model whose lack of suspension and smaller front wheels make it completely unsuitable for anything other than smooth pavement, and whose front and rear mounted storage satchels are much less accommodating than a traditional basket. There are also a few myths about the Explorer that I'd like to dispel before moving forwards. And first and foremost, please note that its activation mechanisms are not as user-friendly as they're often portrayed. They take finger strength, in some cases nearly twice as much as you need on a lot of competing models, as that single bar centralizes functions that would otherwise have been doubled, such as both handle height extension and positioning. And furthermore, this idea that you can just roll the model up to a dining table and effortlessly adjust the height of the seat is horse feathers. You at least have to take your kid out of the stroller first. Otherwise, the second you flip that clasp, they'll roller coaster their way straight down to the lowest position. Secondly, Stoka's description of the Explorer as having a one-step fold is blatant misdirection. It takes one step to fold the rear frame in towards the front frame, but to get the model down to trunk size still means removing the seat and flipping and lowering the handle. And while we're on the subject of advertising misdirection, I'd also like to say that I have no idea what scratch proof aluminum even means. Firstly, if you go all black, the black paint will definitely scratch. And secondly, the only exposed aluminum on the model is a central shaft, which is surrounded by a wide buffer of plastic bits that do definitely scratch when you bump into stuff. And lastly, is the idea that the unique structure of the model makes it more suitable to maneuver with one hand, which is actually true, but only if you're driving the Explory in the smooth environments to which it's suited, and under such conditions, aren't most strollers pretty easy to maneuver with one hand? All right, so what's changed with the Explory X then? The truth is, not much. It's mostly style details, mainly the textiles, and their associated stitching and zippers, flaps, and colors. The most important changes, as far as I see it, are a somewhat easier to use storage satchel, a redesigned harness and newborn inlay, and a return to the seat unit of the Explory V5, which was a preferable design to the V6 due to having an adjustable footrest. Beyond this, chassis-wise, there are no real relevant changes whatsoever, from a mechanical or use perspective, that weren't present or more on more recent previous versions of the Explory. What has not changed with the Explory, or to put it more specifically, what has not changed with the Explory that I would have liked to see changed? Firstly, the brake system, where I find both the pedal and the locking pin setup a bit weak in relation to long-term wear, not as bad as early versions of the Explory before they shifted the internal wire, but still, a little spring-loaded action for a more definitive and satisfying click would have gone a long way here. Secondly, the front wheels, in that the non-removable front wheels on the Explory of a few versions ago had a wonderfully tight fit, and in my opinion, there was really no need to shift this out for a weaker setup. And lastly, terrain capability? Well, sure, I'd love to see this change, but then it wouldn't really be the Explory anymore, unfortunately. They'd have to either get rid of that quirky central bar or make it even heavier, and those aren't solutions. That'd just be tossing the whole design. Stolka had a terrain model, if you didn't know, the Trails, which used the same luxurious seat and bassinet as the Explory, and which we loved, but they dumped it last year, unfortunately, and there's no real way to remake the Explory to take its place. So, should you get the Explory X then? The only reasons to get any iteration of the Explory, in my opinion, are firstly because you just love the look, you're all about that Nordic minimalism, or secondly, because of that one real definite practical reason for buying Stolka, which is that they're absolutely top-notch about honoring their after-sales commitment to helping you with problems down the line, and I mean even years down the line. Most brands are not like this. They should be, but they're not. Stolka is. Is the Explory X worth getting over the V6? Mechanically, no. Not just for the seat unit. And in fact, if you can find a V5 model for cheap, mechanically, you more or less have the Explory X anyway. As far as getting the X for the colors and the little style changes is concerned, that's up to you. 
Though note if you like that in my opinion, the colors on the X popped a bit more in the ads than in the store, so it might be a good idea to have a look in person. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. If you're considering getting the Explory, we highly recommend that you watch our more in-depth review of the model from a couple of years ago, that goes into the mechanical and use aspects of the stroller in more detail, and a link has been provided in the description. In addition, if you are currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description as well. Thank you.